Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue working on the S1000 double R. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw the Bonamici rear sets that I have had forever on this finally. So let's go take a look at what we got. So once again, all the Bonamici parts are supplied by Moto D Racing. That's the new uh, one of the new channel sponsors. Uh, the Bonamici rear sets are super nice. It's all CNC machined aluminum. These are black. You can get different toe peg colors, and I believe you can get them. I can't remember, but I believe you can get them with folding pegs also. But uh, if you're needing any Bonamici stuff, this is all manufactured in Italy super high-end really good quality stuff if you haven't checked them out you can go on uh, moto d's website and check out everything they have available for your motorcycle okay so the first thing we'll do is we'll start on the passenger side and we'll take our t40 torx to remove the bolts that hold the rear set onto the frame i'm going to try it with just a screwdriver but if they're too tight get them off of this and then the bottom one and then that will take the rear set off on this side so once you get the factory rear set off you will take your passenger side rear set and the supplied bolts for it that are number five allen head and we'll go ahead and start this on here like i said it's a number five i'm not going to lock tight these on And then these bolts torque to 25 and a half Newton meters. All right, now once we get the actual rear set on, we can go ahead and put the foot peg on also. So included in the package, there's two length foot pegs. There is a short one and a long one. The longer one goes on the shift side of the bike, left side of the bike. And so all you'll need to do is take out your the little cap that covers it. Start it on however you want it orientated. And then this one also torques to 25 and a half newton meters. And the cap is a number six. So number five on the bolt, number six on the little cap nut. That completes the installation of the actual rear set on this side. Now there are several different adjustments on this to where you can move it to whatever fits you the best, your height and style. I'm just going to leave it in the factory position which is kind of centered up right now until I actually ride the bike and see how I like it. And now you can get out the actual shift lever from the package and kind of just, I just like to eyeball it see how much different it's going to be than what I've actually got which it looks real similar so we can go ahead and take the bolt out here and again that's using the 
the T30 Torx. This one I believe is the T40 again, which I don't, I actually don't have a T40, but luckily on my screwdriver I can put a wrench on it to use it, so. So take your T40, loosen your lever off. We'll set all this to the side because we have all new hardware for this. And now once you're ready to go back on with your shift lever, I've gone ahead and attached the toe peg. It also has several different adjustments on it that you can use to fit it where you want it. I'm just kind of going back in a stock location. And this is simple to put on. It simply reattaches in the factory location. Now, if you want standard shift, you would go on the back side. If you want GP shift, you would put your rod on the front side. Because if you can see, if you shift, so let's just say it was hooked in the back, right? So to go into first, when you click down on the, the uh, lever, it's pulling down on it. Whereas if it was on the front side, it would be pushing up. So anyway, factory shift, GP shift. Uh, use whichever one you decide you like the best and now I'm going to go ahead and reattach this and throw it all on real quick And then once you get the lever on and everything torqued down to where you want it, um, I'll, like I said, don't put Loctite on it. Go ahead and ride the bike and see if everything's adjusted how you want it. And then if not, you can, you know, adjust it either on the rod or this does have a, another adjustment on the lever itself. And then we'll go ahead and move over to the other side and start it. Okay, so to get started on this rear set, we need to take off the exhaust bolt and the two bolts that hold the rear set to the frame. And then we'll also need to re undo the uh, master cylinder, rear master cylinder, once we get it loose. So now then, per usual, the instructions that usually come with this kind of stuff is not very great. But, you know, obviously you have your rear set. If you're going to run an exhaust, it still needs to retain this uh, bracket or this bolt. It comes with the bracket also that you need to install on the back side, like so. And then obviously you've got your brake lever and all your various nuts bolts pins and everything to try and get everything back on so let's just take a look and see what all we're going to need how we're going to need to go about doing this obviously the master cylinder bolts through the heel guard right here on the back side so this will need to come off so that can go on there. So 
So let's just, for now, let's go ahead and just, well, we know we're gonna have to put the exhaust bracket on. So let's go ahead and put that on. We're gonna, we are also gonna lock tight that on cause it's not gonna have to come off. So I'm, and this is a number five again here on these. They are supposed to torque the 25 Newton meters also, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take a ratchet, put the Loctite on them and crank them down. And we should be good there. All right guys, so part of the joys of filming, you get everything installed and then you realize your video wasn't even recording. So I pulled everything on the right hand side of the bike off to redo it. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you that you go ahead and take your rear set and we can go ahead and uh, install the bracket for the exhaust. Now if your bracket or if your exhaust doesn't run the factory location bracket then you don't have to put this on. But mine does. So go ahead and install it and torque it down. Everything is 25 newton meters uh, as before so that'll get you to that point now I have already went ahead and installed the uh, arm for the master cylinder for the rear master cylinder you can just slide it on take the pan that comes with it and uh, install that like that I will go ahead and bend these over now so they're not sticking out like that. Okay, so now that I have the pin bent like I want it, you, on your factory rear set, the spring that goes, the return spring for the lever, you don't use on this. This one comes with the new spring, this little coil spring. And the way this coil spring works is on the lever, there's a little hole right here. So basically, when, you, when it's done, this is going to set like this. And on the back side of the lever, there's a hole right here. All right? So what you want to do is you can go ahead and if you want to leave it on here, you can. Go ahead and put the spring in here and then you want to position it so you go ahead and put the other spring in the hole hopefully you can see that and then you can twist this around and then take your rear peg with your bolt and your washer on it remember this lever has tension on it right now so you can go ahead and stick your bolt in and start it So then, you, once you let go of it, it'll stay right there. So what holds the pressure on it is when you spring load it around, sorry about the noise guys, is when you spring load it around, you will put your stop on, on the inside, here, and then your bolt in, and that is what holds it from being able to just spring past. Right? So this will go basically here. If you can see that, like so. So we'll take that, put it there, put our, we are gonna put Loctite on this. And then we'll stick it in the hole. And we'll take our 
scratch. Like so, right? So it's tight, it's there, and then that is the basically the stop or the adjustment for your lever. So we're here. This we can torque and adjust once we get it on the bike. I will tighten it up just a little bit so it doesn't just fall off. And of course here is where our master cylinder goes. So now that we have all that on, we can go ahead and put the, uh, the brake toe peg on. These we will definitely want to lock tight because unless you have a, it's hard to get in these with a normal Allen. So you have to use a long one and it's really easy to twist it or break it. So just get it on where you need it now. And then uh, once I know everything's where I want it, I can lock tight it, which I guess I could have went on ahead and lock tight that. But I can do it when I do everything else after I ride the bike. So check everything. Heel guard's tight. These are tight. Uh, we'll go ahead. We haven't taken these off. We'll go ahead make sure they're tight. Our um, lever's tight. And we're good to go. We got our return spring on. Now all we need to do is put the exhaust back on. Put our cap on which if I'm not mistaken was a six millimeter. Just be super, super careful not to over tighten this. It's just plastic cap. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty, uh, not a horribly difficult to install. I think they look good. They match the other Bonamici items I have on the bike. I think they look better than the factory silver ones that kind of stick out. Alright guys, there you go. That's pretty much a 
5 out of 10 on the difficult meter. If you've never installed rear sets before, uh, every bike is different. They're similar, but everything's different. So just take your time. It's like me, this is the first time putting them on a BMW. So after you start to do things, you realize, oh, I could have done this a little different this way or that way. Um, but you can do it. If you want to work on your bike, just uh, take your time and you can get it done. Uh, rear sets are pretty pricey. doesn't matter which brand you buy. So just remember, everything from Bonamichi comes from Moto D. And if you use the code Lone Star Moto, it'll save you some cash on them. So right now, saving cash is always a good thing. So if you have any questions, make sure and leave them down below. And I'll make sure and also link everything down below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.